Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Against the Mino in Edge Attack. I suppose this does mean something to someone. This is a traditional proverb about a good way to attack a very strong castle. Um, hmm. It's taken a minute for us to get an opponent. There we go. Good luck. Wait, did I just do this my last game too? Let's do this again. It continues to seem interesting. What to do now? Hmm. Against the Mino and Edge Attack. Well, there's the Edge Attack we were talking about. Um, I block my Rook. Whatever could I be planning? Oh, not this. <laughs> this is called not planning ahead. All right. Well, damn. I got called out. This will be interesting. Do I move my rook? I don't think so. Moving the rook seems to be more problematic than moving the bishop. Uh, blocking the rook's pretty bad, though. Blocking the rook is very bad. Hmm. This is not good. All right, we're going to try this. There's the edge attack against... I've built half Mino Castle. I don't really feel like moving the king closer into it. Um, hmm. Hmm. don't understand. I unblock my rook. What have I done wrong? Testify to my mistake. All right. exchange bishops and attack that tell me what I've done wrong a fork here a fork there Everywhere a fork. The problem here is if they take this, I have a bishop drop, which is also a fork. But this knight fork has led to another fork here. Okay, they don't want to lose another piece to this. Now how do I continue winning material from this arrangement? 
Um, pawn drop, silver move, silver drop, exchange. I don't have another pawn drop to drop, but now they end up with this here. I can drop more pieces. Yeah, this just breaks. This is pretty cool. Do I start with a bishop drop? No, because then they could drop a Not bishop in exchange. Um, let's take this while we can get it. That's free. Mm -hmm. Then we'll exchange here. And then this is another fork. Okay, that's a check. My king and dragon could be forked by a bishop. How much does that disturb me? I don't know. Where does my king go here? Also, I don't know. If I allow that fork to occur, can I recover from Yes, of course I can recover from it. Oh, but then I get pinned again. That's no good. Um, all right. They might do this anyway, but I can break down this castle. Okay. Um. Surround the king. Yeah. It's not trivial to surround. Well, okay, this is not recommended, but I don't see another way about it. Mm -hmm. Go for it. So if I had a knight, the knight could fork these pieces. Regardless, I have other ways to attack, but... um. I've sidestepped a fork. I guess my dragon could also be used in defense. Or if I dropped a bishop here, it could promote and defend this point. That's bizarre. I can check. King moves, I take twice. That's not mate. To check is to chase. <sighs> um, check, king move. No, this doesn't help. Does it? No, of course not. All right, back I go.
My dragon is better than their rook. My king is safe. And I need to commence wave two of my attack at some point. So that'd be drop a pawn, promote it, go all the way over there. And I don't seem to have a better path forward than that. On the other hand, what can the opponent do? They can drop a pawn to fluster my efforts somehow, wherever they choose to drop it. Mm -hmm. Uh... What are they doing? I hear ya, I hear ya. This is just super confusing. Welcome. Hmm. This is walking into a fork, but maybe it's for the best. Maybe not. Um. Huh. 
Whoops. Mute that. They're going to try to trap my horse. And I'll just try to remain undisturbed by it all. Um... Oh, rather, the fork doesn't work, does it? Because my dragon can just take a forking piece. I knew that. Maybe. <sighs> Another general in hand would be nice. This is going to be a tense moment. Ippun. I didn't expect that pawn move. I shouldn't have taken that.
10秒。Thanks for the game. Well played. I didn't manage my time. They did. That's the difference. One down, two to go. Good luck. Nana Fun.
I was about to start commenting that what an eventful opening, but we might see more events here. If they had a knight, a knight drop would be scary. Hmm. Go hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about it. I messed up somewhere.
How do I checkmate this king? Sampun. Hmm, that's a tough decision. I don't know whether to promote in that case or not. Um, Nifun. Ippun. This is horrible. Shit. Should not have done that. Should not have done that, because now we get the night drop and it's a bit spooky. Sanjubio. Hmm.
two down, one to go. Thanks. That was challenging, not gonna lie. Should it have been that challenging? No, but good luck. I find a way to... Oh, wow. That's an original move. Don't remember playing this. Or it's been a while since I last played such a thing. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh... I don't know where we are now. Are they seriously trying to grab a pawn? I don't remember this pawn grab. Okay. If you want the diagonal closed, I can close it. Probably didn't need to make this bold move so early. Um... Hmm, well... Okay. Sure, why not? This is where you want my king to go? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, they're changing course on us now. Huh. You mean my king's not going to go all the way up the board? Okay. I'm flexible. Just tell me where you want me to go. I'll go there. No need to be so picky. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go back down now. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure, this is where you want my king. I can move it again. Alright, so... I think this is the best moment for me to do that. Since both of our kings are on this diagonal. Um... Kind of stole my thunder already, but sure. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Nanafun.
Oh, that's not how that piece moves. I knew that. I get my pieces mixed up there. No worries. Yeah, we've got an interesting opening on our hands here. I guess we're here now. Why we're here, I don't know. Should I submit this for Sunday? Would this be a fun one to have a Shogi Harbor review? It was exciting, wasn't it? I guess they can break the pin. So what am I boasting about? I don't know. I'm boasting that I survived this damn thing. But also I have a silver drop and could start taking their pieces, but maybe that's not the right approach. They're picking a square for the bishop. Okay. The square has been selected. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bit audacious, wouldn't it? All right, I think they're planning on... Well, I mean, maybe they have some other move they want to... No. The only thing that makes sense is to take the bishop. And then they're trying to plan some tactics here and some shot and forget or plan that I forget about this and don't see that I can move my rook up to defend this point. I think that's what we're thinking about. But maybe there's some kind of attack, like there's all kinds of places I could potentially drop the rook. But my idea is simply drop a silver here, drop a rook up here, and I mean, I've got a clear line of sight here, a clear line of sight there. 
Yes, I've dropped my silver and I'm not happy about it, but I can make something of it. I guess they have a pawn drop here. Didn't think about that. <clears throat> that could be a problem. So I don't want to drop my silver then. Well, this sucks. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, if I drop the silver here, then they could eventually drop a pawn here, and I lose this silver. So that's no good. Shaking up my castle leads to massive headaches. Um, allowing them to take my lance also leads to headaches. Yeah, after they take the bishop, I don't know what's next. I do have places I can drop my rook, but it's not easy. Yeah, you're not wrong. Well, other... I wouldn't say brainlessly, I would just say, like, there is clearly some fault in repeatedly checking the opponent's king, because nothing good can come from it. Um, but whether that's brainless or something else, I would say it's not quite brainless. Yeah, each time I shuffle my king, that gives me an opportunity to try to think of a better move. Just because each time I'm not thinking of one doesn't mean I potentially, like, I don't know. The shuffle back and forth can only end poorly for the opponent. Unless I happen to make a blunder. And then maybe it's to their favor, but that's gambling that I make a mistake. I think we know what's about to happen. Yeah. And that's, was that Nimzovich? I don't know if we attribute that to him. I, you might be right, I just don't remember. So if they take, I think I bring the knight out. Which sucks, because they have a bishop in hand and all kinds of shit can happen, but... Eh, what can you do? Yeah, I wasn't going to say that, but you know, you do make a good point. Those not carefully watching the chat, by he you mean Nimzovich. <laughs> I suspect something perhaps more immediately important than Shogi happened on the opponent's side of this situation. And to our regret, uh, this game might not conclude. Oh, it's actually a Fisher quote? Mm-hmm. The book, I don't know whether it was ghostwritten or not, but the book Bobby Fisher Teaches Chess actually instills some good fundamentals uh, for any student. So it wouldn't surprise me if a rule of thumb like that were also attributed to Fisher. Yeah, but is that the first place that's written? I don't know. And was it the first place it was ever said? Perhaps not. I imagine that some point after the Romantic era mm. uh, is where that sort of term of art might have come about. I don't know. Regretfully, I get to win this game.
I'll take it. Thanks for the game. Yep. Things happen. Alright. So, hopefully we've enjoyed this series. Thanks for watching.